Hi, this is Alan Ryan here at Woodcraft in Dayton, Ohio. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to prepare your strop for sharpening. Now what we do with the strop is here's your strop and then obviously you've got to have some kind of stropping compound to go on it. The idea behind this is when we're sharpening we want to finally polish that blade so it'll slide through the wood and not slide through yourself. So let's get started. Okay. Now in order to get started here, we, what we've got to do is we've got to load the strop up with stropping compound or a compound that is a, a very, very uh, fine abrasive for polishing. The way we're going to easily do that is I'm going to take a simple screwdriver here and take some of this non-wax based uh, honing compound. I'm just going to crunch it up here. Okay, get some of it out. I'm going to pour it right on the strop. Okay, like I've done that. Now I'm using a burnishing tool, but you can also use the flat of a screwdriver and what have you. And we're just going to take this and force it into the open leather. Now I'm going to get a couple more sections of it here. To get, make sure I've got the thing well loaded. Again, I'm just going to force it right in. Now as, you know, it's kind of a pinkish color now. Um, Actually, it's uh, Flex Cut Gold, Gold, which is a compound that we sell here at Woodcraft, along with these strops. And let's just get her loaded up really good, pressing it right in. Okay, now, now we're ready to actually start the stropping process or the polishing process. We'll start with a simple pocket knife that we've got here. The key is you do not want to push into the leather. Why? We're going to cut it. So I'm going to sit here and this has got a little tiny bit of a secondary bevel so I'll lay it flat, lift it up just a hair and start pulling it towards me. Okay, I only need about five or six strokes then I'll reverse directions and this is a thin blade so it can tend to flex so we want to make sure that we don't let it flex on us. And also if you notice the strop is turning a color, a uh, black color. That's the metal that's coming off of the uh, knife. And I now have, ooh, that's nice and sharp. Okay, that's a great little pocket knife. A carving tool. Now this particular tool has been ground and polished in such a way that I only need to lay it dead flat. And again, pull away. This doesn't have the secondary bevel. And this is the carving tool. A couple of strops like that and now be very careful because that's got a really nice razor sharp edge. Now I'm picking up a hand chisel. We do the same thing with hand chisels. I'm going to first go and take the back, strop it down a little bit, then I'm going to lift up, I'm going to feel that bevel and just pull. Every so easy. Okay. And now I get a nice good sharp edge That'll slide right through just about anything. Again, right on down the line here, doing the same thing with my plane iron. Notice my plane iron though is wider. Okay, again, I'm working the back first. Well, I just set the thing at a little bit of an angle and pull. Okay, if I pull the, the, the compound out, I can just put more compound in. And one brick of compound will last a long, long time. Getting a nice edge. Now, what I'm going to do here is actually put a little bit more in because this is a brand new strop. If the strop itself doesn't seem to be giving you a good polish, add a little bit more compound. It won't hurt it at all. And at the same time, if the thing is full of black and real polished, that just says you've been using it for a long time. Now, I'm going to pull out my granddad's straight razor. Oh, these are beautiful little tools. This one again. I'm just going to lay it flat and pull. Now, I'm not real fancy here using the, uh, like they do in the movies, but again, just pull it, change couple. The key is the same number of strokes in each direction. Okay, and I'm kind of doing this at an angle. Coming back, one, two, three. Oh, that'll take the whiskers right off your chin in two seconds. Okay, 
Well, that about wraps it up. Here's your compound. We've got your strop. We've shown you how to put it together and sharpen up and strop a couple of tools. Everything is available at Woodcraft, and thanks for watching.